So Alex has worked on a new feature branch called feed-chair and she's quite happy with her work and she wants to make this new feature that she made in this branch also available in the main branch. So she wants to integrate her changes from the feature branch to the main branch. This process called merging in Git. And in this video, we're gonna consider the most basic type of merging, which is called fast forward merge. So consider this diagram here, as shown here, while we made the, the second commit in the feature branch, there is no new commits on the main branch. And let's remind us that commits in Git are nothing but just pointers or labels. So basically the main branch is nothing but this, this simple file called main, which is located in this position. Similarly, the feature branch is also another file that is located in this position. And if you look at inside main, all it contains is the hash ID of commit one. So it's just a pointer to commit one. And if you look at inside the feature dash char, it contains the hash ID of commit two. Now, in order to merge this branch into main, we first need to switch to the main branch. So we can do this using git switch to main. So we go to the main branch and while we are in the main branch, we can type git merge and then the feature branch, the name of the feature branch. And this will basically merge the changes from the feature branch to the main branch. And what happens under the hood is that basically the main pointer, the main pointer or the label just moves forward from wherever it was to the tip or to the last commit in the, in the feature branch. So in this case, it's only one commit and it just moves forward. That's why it's called also fast forward. And under the hood, what happens is that Git updates this main file, the content of it, and now the main file contains the hash ID of commit2, while previously, before merging, it was containing the hash ID of commit1. And feature char still points to commit2. So at this point, basically, both of these branches are identical. Both of them contain the hash ID of commit2. Let's see this in practice. So I'm inside the project called writer tool and it has two Python files and a book folder. And um, inside the book folder, we have two chapters of the book. So now let's check the branch we are. So we have the feature chair branch and we can look at the log. So as we see, we have two commits in the history and this is the actual commit that we did inside this branch. And this commit uh, was also in the main from where we branched off. Now, in the previous video, I made uh, an extra commit on main while we were on the feature branch. So I'm gonna first remove that so that we have no extra commits on main. So I'm gonna first switch to the main branch and show you the log. So here is the commit that I made, uh, but for this video, uh, I need to remove this. So as I mentioned in the presentation, in this video, we're just gonna consider the basic case of fast forward merge. And for that, it requires that the main did not move while we were working on the feature branch. But in the previous video, I made this extra commit to show something. So I'm gonna first remove this and pretend that there was no extra commit on the main. So we can do this with doing git reset, dash dash hard, head. So I'm basically removing uh, the latest commit of the main. So now I'm gonna clear and let's look again. So, all right, now things look good. On the main, we have this single commit, which is if we look at git log uh, feature char, we have here, this is the extra commit in the feature branch and this is still the same commit. So basically we have our feature branch that we want to merge into the main branch. And while we did these changes in the feature branch, the main branch stayed wherever it was, so it did not move. There were no new uh, commits on the main branch. So then it's quite simple. So again, make sure that you are on the main branch, on the target branch. And now we want to merge feature branch into the main. We can just type git merge feature dash chair and hit enter. And that's it. Basically here also git tells us this fast forward. And then it says what 
what is updated basically. In this case, Git is telling us that only one file is changed and that file is this text utils and there are five lines that were changed and one line that was removed. All right, let me quickly look at the text utils. Now you see that this new feature that we had counting the characters is also now present in the main branch. So I'm gonna use git log to confirm that the main branch now contains the changes from the feature branch and, and we can see that indeed now the main branch has two commits and this add char count comes from the feature branch. And at the moment, let's confirm that both of the branches already from the git log, we, we, are, we, we can see that the feature char and the main are pointing to the second commit, but we can also look at the actual file. So I can use cat.git refs heads and main. So we see the hash ID of the second commit. So here it's the same as this commit ID. And if we look at what is inside refs heads and feet dash chair branch, we should see the same commit uh, hash, which is indeed exactly the same as with the main. So at the moment, both of the main and the feature branch are pointing to the same commit ID. So that's it for today. In the next videos, we will cover the cases in which the main branch has new commits while we were working on the feature branch and also the concept of git merge conflicts and how we can solve those conflicts if we have. So see you in the next videos.